So you're currently in that stage when you're revising for your IGCSE, IB or A-level exams and you're getting C grades and B grades in those recent mock exams or the practice that you're doing at home. And what you really want to try and figure out is how do I get to that next level? How do I get to those A grades? Well, I'm going to show you my three steps to get you to those A grades and making sure that you succeed in those maths exams that you're doing. Okay, so the first thing that you really need to do, I'm sure many of you at least started this process, is to make sure you get consistent and focused practice. And these two words are very, very important. Now, when we're doing this kind of consistent and focused practice, we need to be finding challenging problems at the start. You've already got those C grade and B grade individual topics, but what we need to do is then look at those more challenging problems. Now, you can use past papers for this, you can use practice exam sets, or reliable online resources. A resource that I've recently created for you is the hardest IGCSE maths question course. Again, you can check that out in the description below. And by exposing yourself to regular difficult scenarios, your brain will then start thinking critically and become familiar with the exam strategies and math strategies you need to answer those questions. Once you get that success under your belt, then it boosts your confidence and then you have a go at even more difficult questions, getting up to A and A star standard. Now, number two is being aware of common mistakes. Uh, in particularly, analyzing those typical errors made in previous exams. The examiner's report is really, really useful for this. And in fact, I've gone through the typical mistakes that IGCSC students make in the video above. Um, key things to be aware of is misreading questions, even missing out an entire page of questions. That happens occasionally. Uh, making sure that we're calculating correctly, using the calculator, double checking those calculations. This will give you a significant advantage over many students because you have that attention to detail that that B grade student or C grade student often lacks. Now, the third key thing to be aware of is mastering the key topics. Now, I've done a lot of the hard work for you. If you check out the video above, I go through my predictions with the topics that come up the most often, things like sequences, things like probability, ideas like volume of 3D shapes. And by knowing those key topics and a combination of them, particularly with A and A star questions, that can give you a real leg up. And by strengthening those knowledge, of combining those key topics together, you'll have those particular tools you can break down any question, even if it's slightly unfamiliar to you. Now, if you feel at this stage that you have already got all those skills to be an A grade student, well, I've got a little test for you now. So I've created a IGCSE maths A grade quiz. So these 10 questions I'm gonna give you are A grade style questions. And all you need to do is answer the multiple choice quiz. This will give you a good idea if you're a solid A student or you're really going into those A star categories. Again, the link to this quiz will be in the description to help you. And when you get this back, this will give you a good idea of, do I need to focus on differentiation? Do I need to focus on my index laws? So it can really help you target revision for those harder topics. And if you want to pick up on those five key topics and be aware of the key topics that will be on the exam, then check out the prediction videos in front of you. I've got the IGCSE 0580 and the IGCSE 0607. So you're best prepared for the exams coming up.